just do your thing Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Hey guys, welcome back to our channel So on this particular day, we just moved into our new apartment And I met my neighbors, my new neighbors in the most weird way so I went into the elevators and I was so shocked to see my cab being posted all over the elevators and with a message saying that this is a private parking and it's a very antisocial behavior. Is this normal? The person I wrote the house address. So we went to trace. This is us going to trace the person. The person stays two, two floors beneath us. So we went down to knock on their door and the whole family came out Ido went and I was really angry at this stage I was really fuming like what kind of people are we even living with so they opened the door and this is where Ido was trying to tell them we just moved in we don't know who which particular parking space is for who yet the whole family came out. Apparently, the mother was very much. Is the mother the dad, the children? They were all. They all came out to look at the wet person. Their mom was so mad at. She started apologizing when she knew that it was an honest mistake. We told her it was an honest mistake. Of course, I removed all the all the posters because it was in all over the elevators. Those are the posters there, a picture of my of my car, and with that message everywhere. And I'm like, what kind of embarrassment is this? So she kept she was there apologizing and saying it was an honest mistake because apparently there was a festival the previous night, so she thought it was people from the festival, but I didn't believe it because there's no how people from the first festival would park in that particular spot. Because there's a private parking space, then there's a gate that you open with a remote that belongs to only the occupants of the building, people living there. Then it now leads to the outer parking space, which belongs to the Abbott Ein supermarket be beside us. So I parked apparently on one of us on our private car, car space. There was a lot of empty spaces there. So I didn't know there was any issue wrong with it because we just moved in and I've not really, we've not read our contracts to know our exact parking space. Yeah, then I'll do that. Yeah, good. Thank you, Bill. So we can park? Yeah, we can park there. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. But is it assigned to each house yeah. with a number? Yeah, so why didn't they give us our own number? So guys, we eventually read the contract and we found out that the mistake was actually from the, the agent. They didn't state our exact parking spot. So this is the husband. The husband felt so bad about the behavior of the wife. And she came down. He came down with us to show us where we can park temporarily, pending when we sort it out with our the house management team. So we, he came out and showed us. Well, he now told us that he even blocked me in the previous night, thinking when I tried to leave the next morning, I would not be able to leave. But when they saw that we didn't leave, 12, 12 p.m., we didn't leave, that maybe the person stays there. But why we still didn't, why we she now paced with that kind of message all over the whole building of my car? I felt really, really bad about Ido said we should just let it slide down. And you won't believe that the, this couple was, were actually, actually the family were actually moving out yeah, the yeah, following yeah. week. Around the following week, we just saw them moving, and I'm like, why are you fighting yeah. over a space, a parking space that you know you are going to leave in the next week? Yeah, yeah. Well, she knew what she's doing. All well and good, we sorted it out. We parked temporarily outside the free where we had the free parking space for people coming to shop. We kept our two cars there and until everything was resolved a couple of weeks later. And I was able to find a spot for my car. Obi, as always, is the peacekeeper. I was ready for violence, but I'm glad everything was resolved eventually peacefully. But we didn't see the car there anymore. When we well, see. this is the way you do it. You just confront the people and in the end they're going to have to Exactly. It's been all good. 
so just that but it was a very funny <laughs> it was a very funny so and honest mistake well i'm glad it was resolved eventually and that was all us going back <laughs> to the apartment hope you guys enjoyed the vlog I'll see you guys on the next one remember to like share and subscribe to our channel bye guys bye